probably the most important element of what we do in our ministry here at Catholic Charities, that we don't see the person as the problem or the challenge that they present. We see the person for the person. We're really serving them, uh, you know, because they're a human being, because they deserve it, because they deserve a better life. So there's no questions asked from us on who you are or where you're from. It's just we, we want to help you because you, you need the help and we have it. Our new face of poverty approaches us on a daily basis, that new face of poverty, are those who have never been able or needed services like we provide at Catholic Charities. The people that used to be self-sufficient and be updated with their bills, right now they have that problem. How I'm gonna pay, how I'm gonna pay my rent, how I'm gonna put food on my table. And that's why we're here, to help them, to walk with them. Through the year, we expect to hopefully, you know, assist, you know, roughly 200 uh, veteran families by the end of, of the grant year one. Every year, we resettle 100 people from another country through our refugee resettlement program. During the full distribution, we see between 20 and 25 families per day. I think probably close to 30 businesses started just in South Jersey. If you're looking at, at a woman that came from the domestic violence shelter and you give her um, a truckload of furniture and you just have her sign a piece of paper and she gives you a hug, um, you can't really replicate those statistics. Every time somebody gets a car through our savings program or gets um, a little bit better in their English, they're helping us. Families come back and donate because we helped them out years ago. We had a grandmother come who had been reuniting with some family members that had come before her. So her daughter and her daughter's husband and all of her grandchildren had come two years before she did. And it was so exciting because everybody in the community was rallying around them and somebody turned to us at one point and said, I'm just so happy to see my grandmother. I've seen families who had children that they never thought would go beyond high school or even stay in high school come into Catholic Charities and I've spoken to the children and I've seen many of them go on because of some conversation and come back and say, he's graduated, she's graduated. The one that first comes uh, to my mind is an individual uh, with three, ch three children, a single father, um, you know, was laid off, so, you know, under circumstances that were in his own, found himself in a position that uh, he was homeless with his three children. Fortunately, we were able to get this individual uh, a new apartment, help him with the security deposit and the first month's rent, and really get him and his family back on their feet. Uh, we were able to meet with him and his children to see really the look on his face and the, the gratitude that they have. I mean, they almost, they don't like to take the charity. I think they feel it overwhelming to them. So to be able to look this individual in the eyes and have him say thank you and, and really us saying thank you to him for, you know, for what he's done for our country, it, it really, uh, kind of makes it all worthwhile. I understand how, what they're going through because I, I went through that. I was in those shoes before and now those people are counting on me, are counting on Catholic charities to, to get what they need.